Okay. So I hit. Okay, so it is now the 4th of July. So. Independence Day? Uh, but it's 5 a.m. Uh, Australia time. Um, so, what's happened since I last did one of these? Uh, quite a bit. Uh, so, a lot of time has passed more than anything. Not a lot has happened. Just a lot of nothing. It's kind of sad. Um, we're now on a 28 day cruise. And we don't have any more shows to do, so we're just spreading the shows out over a longer period of time and making do with stuff we already have made. So um, we're doing all our shows this cruise. There's most cruises we don't do every single one of our shows, we just do like three or four cruises. And we have six shows, and we have to learn most of these, um, but most of them are are the hard ones are done really I mean there's a lot of easy stuff that we learned pirates today uh, where we have to be ninjas and the show is so offensive to anyone involved <laughs> uh, it's it's a show about pirates versus ninjas because we, we the ninjas steal the pirate treasure and there's all of these things stupid jokes about Japanese ninjas. Um, there's, we have to play a game called Samba Sushi or something like that. And there's this dubbed over part where we're talking in Japanese. And uh, what else? Oh, we dance to turning Japanese. Um, and if you know anything about ninjas, you know that they're Chinese, and that's never addressed in the show, so whoever wrote this, good on you, good job. Yes, it doesn't take itself very seriously, I mean, obviously it's pirates versus ninjas, but it's, it's just, there's so much wrong with it, and it's fine. It's, it makes me laugh. It's good, probably going to make me laugh for the whole six months that we have to do it. So, that's good. Um, we're now on our third cruise. We've done a 10-day, a 4-day, and now we're on the 28-day cruise. So, we've been here now for over two, almost three weeks, I guess. Um, I don't know what day of the week it is anymore, because it doesn't matter. I just know that tomorrow is Norfolk Island Day, and that we won't stop because the sea is too rocky. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but it's pretty rocky. Maybe not, because everything moves together. Um, and what happened now? So now uh, the director is gone. We have uh, essentially been left on our own. We had, we've had one show where I did trapeze and that's it, really. I mean, we did a, a show called Circus, where we do the uh, like a bungee act, a really low bungee act, but we didn't do it because it was too rocky. And it's really been miserable and rocky and bad weather and not hot and really not the fantasy voyage that I was looking forward to so far. I know it's going to get better because now we're traveling to the nice places and now we're going to get to see the places. And, and see the ports and be able to get off the ship. Where in the first first cruise we could get off the ship, which made it awful. I saw Sydney though. Sydney was a really nice city. Um, really clean, really like almost frighteningly clean. Just like didn't seem to have. I couldn't get the personality of it. I don't know. It seemed sort of a. Uh, everything was so new. It seemed sort of plasticky. I didn't know how to feel in Sydney. It's, it seemed perfectly nice for what we had to do there. I mean, we're, I really just wanted to buy groceries. Um, we get free food, but you know, yeah. Cookies. Um, so, Sydney was cool. It's been four days now since we've left Sydney, and we haven't really done anything. So, 
We can't even train tonight because it's too rocky. We're training a lot, so that's good. But mostly just sleep. Which is fine, I like sleep. But hopefully it'll start picking up, like, the pace of the days will start picking up once we start going into ports and we'll have something to do, we'll have stuff to explore. Every every day is a new country, every day is a new island, every day is a new experience. So yeah, that'll be I'm looking forward to that. And on port days we can also train swinging. Finally, we haven't swung yet almost at all. Um, I got to run my act twice, and just I just decided to throw it all out there and just do everything. You know, I hadn't really trained on the structure yet. Um, it went fine, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, it meant that uh, that was my that would. I did that because I knew it would be my only time to swing in like these three weeks. Um, the next time we're going to be able to swing is not for another three days, or four days maybe even. And that's still dependent on the weather. If it's too rocky or if it's rainy or shit, we can't train because it's outside. Um, which is really crappy to have to depend on that. But we have a lot of port days coming up, so hopefully it'll be an option. I've moved cabins now. I'm not in a passenger cabin anymore. Blue cabin, which is slightly less exotic, but I have a window. That little round thing is a, is a port window, um, which is closed right now. It has to stay closed because it's too rocky. But otherwise, it's really nice to have to, it to see what it's like outside. If it's raining or if it's rocky or if it's beautiful, beautiful and sunny out, which I'm hoping it will start being very soon because it's just been awful. It makes sense. It's winter. I get that. But we're supposed to be in a tropical place where it never gets cold. And it's never been over, like, 15 degrees in the last, like, week and a half, which has been miserable. Sydney was freezing. Not freezing, not, like, freezing on zero, but just, like, I'm supposed to be on a tropical paradise cruise. And that's not what I'm getting. So, that's the kind of week it's been. I guess I've been doing an update of the week now instead of doing it day by day, which I originally intended to do. Um, but it's good because really if I had to update the day, like today I slept and waited for training, then I trained, then I went back to bed, got up the next day, well, oh, not the whole day, the whole day, it's just waiting to train, and today was disappointing because we didn't get to train because it was too rocky, oh well. <laughs>